Prostate cancer is a cancer that occurs in the prostate. The prostate is a small walnut-shaped gland in males that produces the seminal fluid that nourishes and transports the male reproductive cells. It is both an accessory gland of the male reproductive system and a muscle-driven mechanical switch between urination and the reproductive system. Anatomically, the prostate is found below the bladder with the urethra passing through it. It describes in cross anatomy as consisting of lobes and in microscopic anatomy by zones. Common disorders of the prostate gland include enlargement, infection, and cancer. Prostate cancer is one of the most common types of cancer in men and a significant cause of death for elderly men worldwide. Many prostate cancers grow slowly and are confined to the prostate gland whereby they may not cause serious harm. However, while some types of prostate cancer grow slowly and may need minimal or even no treatment, other types are aggressive and can spread quickly. Prostate cancer that is detected early when it's still confined to the prostate gland has the best chance for successful treatments. Prostate cancer may cause no signs or symptoms in its early stages. Prostate cancer that's more advanced may cause signs and symptoms such as trouble urinating, decreased force in the stream of urine, blood in urine, in semen, bone pain, weight loss with no obvious reason, and sexual dysfunctions. It's not clear what causes prostate cancer. Prostate cancer begins when cells in the prostate develop changes in their DNA. A cell DNA contains the instruction that tell a cell what to do. The chest tells the cell to grow and divide more rapidly than normal cells do. The abnormal cells continue living when outer cells soon die. The accumulating abnormal cells from a tumor that can grow to invade nearby tissues such as bladder and rectum. This is called regional expansion. In time, some abnormal cells can break away and spread to other parts of the body and form other cancers. These are called metastases. Common metastases from prostate cancer are found in leaf nodes and bones. Metastases in the liver, lungs, brain and other organs are also found. Risk factors Factors that can increase your risk of prostate cancer include number one old age. Your risk of prostate cancer increases as you age. It's most common after age 50. The risk even increases as you get older. For instance, 1 in 10,000 men younger than 40 years are diagnosed with prostate cancer. But at age 60, these numbers is only 1 in 15 men. Number 2. Race for reasons not yet determined, black people have a greater risk of prostate cancer than do people of other communities. In black people, moreover, prostate cancer is also more likely to be aggressive. Number three, genetics. If a relative, such as a parent, sibling, or child has been diagnosed with prostate cancer, their risk may be increased. Family history of breast cancer may also increase the risk of prostate cancer. Lifestyle and prostate cancer. Though sedentary tea and recumbents are associated with high levels of PSA or prostate specific antigen, study shows that sedentary tea is not directly associated with prostate cancer is diagnosed with prostate biopsy. However, Obesity increases the risk of prostate cancer and its aggressiveness. Number three, smoking. 
Still record studies show an association between smoking with prostate cancer incidence and mortality. Number four, alcohol consumption increases prostate cancer. The risk is even higher if you started taking alcohol younger than 20 years. <laughs> Complications. Complications of prostate cancer and its treatment include cancer that spread. Prostate cancer can spread to nearby organs such as your bladder or your rectum or other organs. Prostate cancer that spreads to the bones can cause pain and broken bones. Once prostate cancer spread to other areas of the body, it may still respond to treatment, but it's unlikely to be cured. Number two, incontinence. Both prostate cancer and tea treatments can cause urinary incontinence. Prevention of prostate cancer. You can reduce your risk of prostate cancer if you choose a healthy diet full of fruit and vegetables. Eat a variety of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Fruit and vegetables contain many vitamins and nutrients that can contribute to your health. And eating a healthy diet with a variety of fruit and vegetables can improve your overall health. Number two, screening. Prostate cancer screening means looking for cancer before it causes symptoms. The goal of screening for prostate cancer is to find cancers that may be at a higher risk for spreading if not treated, and to find them early before they spread. There is no standard test to screen for prostate cancer. Two tests that are commonly used to screen for prostate cancer are described here. Number one, prostate specific antigen. A blood test that's called a prostate specific antigen or PSA test measures the level of PSA in the blood. The PSA or prostate specific antigen is a substance made by the prostate. The level of PSA in the blood can be higher in men who have prostate cancer. However, the PSA level may also be higher in other conditions that affect the prostate. As a rule, the higher the PSA level in the blood, the more likely a prostate problem is present. But some healthy prostate glands make more PSA than others. So when PSA levels are high, your doctor might, after analysis, recommend a biopsy to find out if you have prostate cancer. Number two, digital rectal examination or DRE. Digital rectal examination or DRE is when a healthcare provider inserts a gloved, lubricated finger into a man's rectum to feed the prostate for anything abnormal, such as prostate cancer. Currently, men screening guidelines. Do not recommend the array training test because of lack of evidence or the benefit. In addition, when asked, many men are reluctant doing a prostate cancer screening because of the discomfort they feel thinking of the digital rectal examination. The US Task Force, which is an organization made of doctors and disease experts who look at research and the best way to prevent diseases we recommend the following. Number one, men who are 55 to 69 years old should make individual decisions about screening for prostate cancer with a prostate specific antigen test only. Before making a decision, men should talk to their doctor about the benefit of screening for prostate cancer. Men who are 70 and older should not be screened for prostate cancer routinely. The goal of screening for prostate cancer is to find cancers that may be at high risk for spreading if not treated, and to fight them early before they spread. However, some prostate cancers can grow slowly or not at all. The benefit of screening for prostate cancer include finding prostate cancer early, number two, 
Finding prostate cancers that may be at high risk of spreading so that they can be treated before they spread. This may lower the chance of death from prostate cancer in men. Diagnosis and follow-up Diagnosis of prostate cancer is usually done by prostate biopsy to assess tumor presence, tumor activity. If a tumor is confirmed, medical imaging such as an MRI or bone scan may be done to check for the presence of the spread of the tumor in other parts of the body. Prostate cancer that is only present in the prostate is often treated with either surgical removal of the prostate or with radiation therapy. Number two, brachytherapy. Brachytherapy consists of inserting a small radioactive particles of iodine 125 or pegagem three, and it is used in some prostate cancer cases. Number three, hormone therapy. Hormone therapy can see of depriving the prostate cancer tumor from hormones and androgens that stimulated proliferation by using GnRH analogs or agents such as bicalutamide that blocks the receptors that androgens act on. Occasionally, surgical removal of the testes may be done instead. Number five, cancer that does not respond to hormonal treatment or that progresses after treatment might be treated with chemotherapy such as docetaxel. Sometimes the decision may be made not to treat a prostate cancer. If a cancer is a small and localized, the decision may be made to monitor for cancer activity at intervals and defer or postpone treatment. This is called active surveillance. In fact, since about 2010, some men with prostate cancer have opted to be closely monitored for months, even years, to see if the cancer grows before treating it. And if a person, because of frailty or because of other medical condition, has a life expectancy less than 10 years, then it will be considered that the adverse effects of the treatment may outweigh any perceived benefit. I'm Dr. Eric. These channels aim to deliver information that promote health and holistic wellness. The information this channel is made and tailed for educational and informational purposes. If not done yet, subscribe to our channel now and activate notifications. We hope this video on Cards was helpful and wish to see you in our next content soon. Ciao!